Gemini singles, super singles, completely singles. Welcome. This is Meet the Soulmate Read. This is for the end of November 2021. Using the Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot here. And um, in the urban jungles of Cancun, Mexico. Do a little work on a building next to us, a couple away. It's just amazing the neighborhood. Now it's so quiet and it's wildlife here. Now you might, uh, if you're lucky, you'll see a red-tailed boa slither up next to us on the trees. No, I don't know. Maybe that would be cool. But that would be cool. Um, seen foxes down there, parrots, and all kinds of birds around. I gotta get some hummingbird feeders out here, man. I know there's gotta be some hummingbirds. So let's see. Um, this is uh, just asking spirit to show us uh, who's the soulmate, meet the soulmate. So it's, uh, I say, always positive read for this purpose. Um, it's If you see a three of swords, the one's breaking up with you, it's just going to describe something about their personality. And that's what I'll try to pick up on, behavior, psychology, uh, stories they might tell, personal history. Um, I'm give you an idea what this person is like, and we're going to look at the astrology. So for these purposes too, uh, Gemini's, think Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus energy. And Tuesdays, by the way, is always Gemini and Cancer days here. Um, so um, let's just go. This is going to be the uh, energy for cups and what I call the emotional aspect of your person. We'll pull two cards for their emotional aspect over the Seven of Pentacles. That's interesting energy there. Um, four Cups, Seven of Pentacles. Now here I'm going to look at their intellectual Eight of Wands. Intellectual energy over the Page of Wands. Wow. Very fiery energy, this person. Okay, guys, so here I look at the uh, sexual and uh, love nature, and here the um, core values and lifestyle, I call it. And so the four pillars of a solid relationship, like the four legs of a table, right? <laughs> solid. Um, so I do read childhood here in the emotional area, and I do try to get the moons. You know, this might be a strange way to look at I see a Virgo moon here. The the counting of the seven of pentacles and, and this uh, ethereal uh, visions illuminated tarot, the seven of pentacles is so good here. Um, I think it really captures the nature of this. You, you don't have to know anything about really tarot kind of what does that kind of give you the feeling of? You know? Uh, I just have to know that pinnacles are things that are solid. It could be also about money, even. But it's also about solid thinking, nuts and bolts thinking. Um, so, um, and uh, Virgo Moon is like this, and they might reject many things because it doesn't feel right to them, and they want they want to be right. That's kind of the moon's what we need to feel good, you know, to feel safe. And what they need is for things to feel right. You know, they're the ones, Virgo moons, that if something isn't done right, it just drives them nuts, yeah. A lot of people could step away. Now, it's funny because um, I I think I'm seeing a, um, well, you, you know, you've got nine. Yeah, I've seen the Sagittarius here. So you end up with nine of wands, with eight of wands and the eight and the page of wands, a Sagittarius energy here. Now remember, I said this is your person. I didn't say they were Mother Teresa. <laughs> I didn't say they were perfect. I tell you the way I see it. There's plenty of soulmates. I mean, everyone we basically get engaged with soulmate. That's just we're asking spirit, who's the next one kind of in line that really would uh, serve our greatest good. And that's why I say it's always a positive reading. But this is where I read the sun here and the intellect. And this is a dead-on Sagittarius person. They may have like a Sagittarius uh, in the ninth house. Like a sun in the ninth house of their natal chart. Which would make them an Aries rising. 
so we may have that here it really feel that way um, with this one um, so they'd be ve very Sagittarius like in a lot of ways but now with a Virgo moon so they probably be, would be more uh, modest, uh, more uh, deliberate with their speech. Not the, probably this is not your Sagittarius that blurts out things and insults people and hurts people's feelings. The Virgo moon is uh, going to get a handle on that, you know. Um, Virgo moon is, I believe, is difficult just in, in the best, even if it's well aspected, it's probably just a difficult placement, you know because you've got mercury there in your emotions it just doesn't belong there and it's always in some way trying to think your emotions um, and not feel them and you know Sagittarius is not you know great for really deep down feeling their emotions either you know that's escaping you know Scorpio the basement getting out and they, that's why Sag wants to sail through the air and get away um, the, think of horses, you know, frolicking through a field uh, kind of energy. In the Seven of Pentacles, uh, someone that is, um, it's not calculating like in a bad way. Um, they, mm, it's very kind of Bir virgo -y feeling to me. Maybe not really possible to have a Mercury in, in Virgo <laughs> if they're sad sun, you know. Um, they could have an Aquarius though it just seems like someone here it's not your typical Sag just a Sag that can lock down that can focus on their mind um, that's kind of practical I mean this is like a Sag and if they're an Aries rising now think about it yet they can look before they leap this person so where's that coming from it's got to be a well placed Saturn somewhere uh, for them all their houses are in alignment I, I love Aries rising you know this is a person too you would exactly think could just make it a, a instinctual uh, moves and you know maybe they do but they like to think it through first you know um, let's see what we're getting here if this is where I'm going to read the Venus and the Mars so Knight of Wands this is most likely the Venus energy and this is uh, love and sex here in the four pillars and the six of wands guys you got a Sagittarius here you know they're more Sagittarius than I am I have four plant Sagittarius um, so like I said though they're, they're probably not gonna scream Sagittarius uh, trying to get a bead on their childhood what went on um, I think it was, a, their whole childhood was just like counting pennies kind of energy for them. Uh, probably had parents, just didn't have a lot of money, a lot of resources, um, guys. Um, but really, I don't see particularly a bad uh, childhood. I think they have kind of an ability to turn away from things that if they were to get, to, something were to really bother them, this may be where the Sagittarius kicks in. And they could just turn away from something and walk away from it or or prance away from it like a, a horse you know because um, here you have the Sagittarius Venus coming in okay to go with the Sagittarius Sun now keep in mind very most likely both the Venus and the Mars are in the ninth house it could be conjunct the Sun both of these guys and in the six of wands I think that's a Sagittarius Mars so you've got Sagittarius, Sun, Mars, and Venus in the sixth house. Um, their Mercury could be in Scorpio, or uh, Aquarius could be Aquarius, but I bet you one or the other. Because uh, they can, they know how to think, you know. Um, I'll put it other than that. Like they can focus, they can uh, think. They're, they're not, there's someone that can think strategically. You know, they, their moon might have a lot of influence too. And, uh, or, you know, moon is the mind anyway, it really is. It's a conscious mind, it's most of the mind. Um, 
so that's why they're not this jumpy person but I tell you holy shit now when it comes to love and romance remember this is your person and not all Sagittarius uh, Venus are uh, you know insatiable or whatever um, nor Mars and I, I got a Sagittarius Mars um, but um, you know you, you gotta understand like Sagittarius is a horse so if they love you if we love you you can put the yoke on us and we'll just keep pulling because Sagittarius won't quit you know that's the thing you've got to, you love the Sagittarius you gotta help them sometimes say look honey you need to, you need to take a bath <laughs> oh, no, not when I die <laughs> kind of energy but look you know Six of Wands, you're riding, riding a steed, you know. Look at this, it's coming right at you, man. Coming right at you. So, yeah. In terms of sex, uh, it's going to be, and it might be a little surprising, because, again, I think they're more like of a Virgo character when you get to know them. So, what's that? Kind of more modest and unassuming and all that. And then you get behind co closed doors, it's going to be like some somebody like the gas furnace blew up and just went kapow. You know, with this fire energy um, from this person, um, if they may well be of a different uh, race than you, from a different country than you, speak a different language from you, and from a different culture than you, a different religion from you, I bet you, uh -huh. because that's who they're going to pick. They're going to probably choose someone in love that's from a different culture, or a different etc. But no. Um, that's going to be you somehow. Queen of Swords. Okay, this is the core value and lifestyle. Thanks for joining me for the Sunset Read. I always get these out on uh, Tuesdays, guys. Three of Cups. Wow. Okay. Um, Queen of Swords and the Three of Cups. What, the, what, what I get with the Queen of Swords and the Three of Cups, and this is a lot, can be more about kind of where their career is and where their core values are. Um, it's kind of like, um, uh, I'll do what I want to. I'll do what I want to. And that might be where their Aries, Aries rising comes in, kicks in with all the Sag. Um, and they really, in terms of their, probably started with school, with advanced schooling, Maybe their parents wanted them to be a lawyer, and they said, I'm going to study music in theory and uh, whatever. Um, go. <laughs> oh, man, stop. Please stop. Almost done. <laughs> the Three of Cups, I see. I thought there would be a break. Uh, this is them being able to be very emotional. You don't see a lot of emotion cards here other than the Four of Cups and put a lot of energy into what they are excited about. That and nothing else. And they're going to be the same way in love. So let me know, guys, what you think of this. Hope this describes your person. Give me a like, share, thumbs up, tell a friend, tell a friend, do subscribe.